So in the last video, we set ourselves up to replicate for the client the items we pick up, like so. So we can pick them up, hit close, and as you can see, we have our updated food and health variables there displayed. So we have the problem on the server, where when the server does it, the items don't actually get updated to the inventory. So the way we want to do that is because of this, well, so let me rephrase that, the reason for it is because when this onwrap, no, where is the function? And then, here it is, add item to inventory gets called, we check over the server, and if we are, we add the items to our array, which will then call the onwrap if it's the owning client. However, if we call the onwrap for the server to make it fire, and what I mean by that is this function here, which adds the item visually to our inventory, we have the issue, keep getting lost, of it adding the item for, so if a client picks up an item, it's going to add it to the servers visually as well. That's a problem. So what we want to do is, in case, for the on rep, we want to do if is locally controlled, then we will fire the on rep. So that way, if we're the server playing and we pick it up, we then add the item to the on-wrap. So that way, with this setup, it'll handle listen servers and dedicated. So now I want to perform hot reload, and let's see if this works on Real Engine 5, which I'd imagine it would. Pick these up, press I, and we have our inventory items. Click it, click it, close. And as you can see, it's blurry, but we have the items there. Next up, I want to make a slight change so that annoying, you know, Hard to see text should go away. Let's go to our, our third person character blueprint and where we create and add the widget. I just want to do this locally. So we're going to do is locally is locally controlled. Perform a branch. And if we are locally controlled, we create and add the widget to our viewport. So I'm in my mind, this should fix that. I hope. So let's pick this up, press I, click it, close it, and there we go. Go over here, press I, click it, close it, there we go. So we have it properly working. We use the hunger on this guy and the health on the server, and we know we're good to go. So that's good. Now, the one thing we don't have is we have not replicated our health and hunger yet. So we want to set those up to replicate, so when we use the item in our inventory, and that replicates as well. So we need to set up some sort of use item function that, well, we actually do have that, the uh, use item here. We have to adjust this a bit so we know which item we're going to use, and the server actually gives us the effect, but we remove it from both the client and the server. So essentially, we will want to wipe our inventory clean and re-add whatever we have whenever we use an item. At least that's the way we're going to do it for the time being, in case I decide to change how things get set up in the inventory. So, that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for my Patreons, as well as you get early access to nearly every single video for just $1. If you want to have any questions or anything and ask them, you can find a link to my Discord server down below as well, and I'll try to help you out. So, I will see you in the next video.